Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Brave Conversations. I'm Cynthia, founder of The Brave Zone. And today we have Laurie Popoff, who comes from France, and she is a, a coach, well, a guide. She doesn't like to call herself coach, but she likes to guide people through transitions. And she's got an interesting story of, of how uh, she has experienced transitions in her life and how to find yourself, take care of yourself, love yourself, um, and also to fulfill your dreams. So uh, welcome, Laurie to the Brave Conversations. Thanks. Thanks for hosting me. <laughs> Laurie is also a host in Business Women in Southampton. So she will host monthly networking groups for business women uh, where they can share their experience and support each other. We'll talk a little bit more about her passion for that as well. So why don't you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about you um, and how you came to live in the UK? Okay. Um, so um, I will say my decision of uh, leaving France, uh, it was like um, uh, two years ago. Uh, two years ago, the, my, uh, the, yeah, tw 20, 2019 was a really, really challenging uh, year. Um, and so I was like, okay, my life is not going the, the way I want and that's not going well. What can, I, what can I do for that? And I was like, yeah, for five or six years, you have this dream really powerful inside you to go in North America. So right now you can't because of a visa and paperwork. So what is the, the baby step to do it? And I was like, and I wake up next morning and I say, yeah, I'm going to the UK. I love the UK. I spend at least, uh, I've, I've been to the UK 10 times in my life before that and I was like okay baby step so I went to the UK I've done some monitoring I, I, I spent time to rebuild myself and and to do the paperwork so I get the visa to go to Canada and I spent um, five five months in Canada I love Canada I was that was amazing and uh, so I start in BC in uh, British Columbia and for three, three, four months anyway. And then I went in Ontario. Oh my God, so freaking cold there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle that. I can't handle. And as much as I love Canada and I really like the spirit, like, I don't know, there is something really special, especially in BC. There is like a free spirit that I really, really like. And I feel so free. And so like, as a woman, really like the freedom was really really big but bc was really nice but i feel like no it's not my place so ontario was way too cold and i said okay next next step i'm going to do like canadian people i'm going to go to mexico <laughs> so that was amazing i was like i arrived in mexico for the last uh, day of next uh, last year and i spent three three weeks in a place like wow um uh, like it looked like a retreat, uh, retreat uh, place for your mind and your and your body. So I've I've done yoga every day, um, no uh, solar energy only. So to charge the the phone that was crazy, no Wi-Fi. <laughs> so that was, yeah. I've never have that much time for myself. And sometimes I was like, okay, what I'm going to do. And, and then I've decided to come back to the UK for, I will say, for personal reason. Uh, because when I, uh, last year I met uh, a man, so I came back. I came back for him and also because I feel like UK is more like the, the place I, I was looking for. Well, it's not exactly the sunniest place in the world, but I guess it's not as cold as Ontario. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, so transitions is kind of like your middle name here, you know, uh, <laughs> and funny that you decided, you know, we were talking a little bit about uh, how you didn't feel at home in your own country. And was this, uh, you know, moving around, was this part of your way of finding a home for yourself? Yeah, exactly. What, what made you or when did you realize that you didn't feel at home in your own country? And how did that feel like? Um, uh, when, when I realized that, um, I think I realized that when, after three years, uh, living in, in Paris, 
uh, I feel like uh, no, I I'm way too far from the, the sea or the ocean. I grew up I grew up close to the ocean, so the the, the ocean, the sea are really really important for me for my my mind, for my my peaceful nest is really really important and Paris was re way too far and way too crowded for me even though I love Paris the architecture or whatever and my friends I miss my friends so much but and then I've moved close to the ocean but that was too small <laughs> <laughs> and al and also I I feel like um I don't know I feel like um like it was something inside me, like um, more powerful that than than I don't know how to explain. It was like something inside me pushed me to to go out. So it was. I mean, you could have moved to Bordeaux or Marseille. I mean, it, it would have been closer to the ocean, you know. But it wasn't it, right? You you, you still. Oh, but you had I, I've been at, I've been checked to the city first. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, yeah and so what was it like being in transition how did you have to, how did you go through transition because now if you help people through transitions what are some of the 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 things that made you successful happy i mean you're fulfilled you're happy how did you do it so i would say uh, take care of myself like that's for me that's the more, most important like uh, every morning i have my routine and I have the, the, the long one when I have time and when I have meeting or when I'm too busy, or I have the short one. And that's, that's I will say that's my, um, how I feel grounded. And so a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of yoga too. Uh, and be surrounded by amazing people. That's definitely a, a key of success, like, um, like, uh, I'm going to celebrate my uh, 15 yeah, year uh, friendship with, with one of my best friends uh, next December. And we, we met each other when I, uh, I, I moved in Paris, because I'm not from Paris. And I mean, like, thanks to the, to the social media and uh, internet, and that's, that's, yeah, internet and my phone are the way to feel uh, grounded and to, to stay in touch. Okay, so take care of yourself. Why is taking care of yourself important when you're transitioning? Um, because I, so when you're grounded somewhere, you, you can have like your family, your, your home, your job, or you feel like you have like, um, you feel stable. When you lose one of that, you, you you will probably discover something inside you that you have no idea like it could be like some fear some challenge that you have no idea about at first but by taking care of yourself every day and looking after yourself have a nice diet uh, have um, some um, activity with your uh, uh, like yoga or sport or whatever move your body it's it's I don't if it's what keep me grounded because it's feeling grounded is like what one of the most important I think and being in transition your 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 life is not that well balanced so take care of yourself it's my way I will say to 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 keep that balance right I'm sure there's a lot of challenges that people like you and others uh, uh, feel when they're in transition. I, I, for one, have lived in multiple countries. I just moved to the UK about a year plus ago. Um, yeah, so I faced my own transition. What are the challenges you faced in your transition? I think the, um, uh, the language is the, is the more, in my way, is the more challenging. Mm -hmm. The language? Like, yeah. Yeah, because I, so I've learned English at school in a way then i moved to the uk and i and i follow uh, uh english training again yeah and i'm i'm i've i went to canada and yeah that's still english but it's different like there is some words you better you better know that you 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 can't say them because you are you're going to have some trouble <laughs> yeah and and also 
what is maybe not so challenging but really interesting is the the culture the difference of the culture i found that so so powerful and so interesting yeah, I mean, for me, if I can just share my own transition story, I think in transition, I, I do agree with you, you need to take care of yourself, you need to be grounded, because when you are transitioning, first you lose your loved ones, the, per the proximity of your loved ones, the fact that they used to be in the same house with you or just around the corner or in the same city, so you lose that. Um, and it's almost like they were your support system. You know, they took yeah. care of you. When people were mean to you, they took care of you right uh, or when the world didn't go your way they they were oh that shoulder to cry on <laughs> even though now we've got social media and whatsapp calls which makes everything super free it's not the same as just coming over mm -hmm. tea or something so yeah so the, having that grounding uh, uh ritual to take care of yourself is very important especially when people start not ex not yet been able to accept you just the way you are cultural differences is very interesting as well you know uh, in Asia, we do things a certain way, which is very different from British culture. And of course, British culture, uh, it, a lot of people, it, because they are British, they think that is the best culture. And <laughs> not, that's not necessarily true, you know? And, and I remember for me, it was how to hold cutlery and how to eat. I mean, I thought I knew this stuff. You know, I used to, I used to attend five-star events and everything like that, VIP tables. I thought I knew this stuff. Apparently, I, I I was rude. Apparently, I didn't know how to eat. <laughs> and then, and then, but at the same time, it's interesting when they come to Asia and they use a spoon and fork, it's laughable because it's, it's just not the way you do it, right? But of course, we don't necessarily <laughs> correct foreigners uh, when, they, when, they, when they just don't do things our way. Whereas here, it feels like they love correcting foreigners uh, when things are not done yeah. that way. Um, but it's, yeah. it's, it's, very <laughs> it's very interesting. I thought, okay, I do need that support system. Yeah, you do be nice to yourself, especially when, when suddenly everything you have, I mean, I'm 46, you know, uh, ev everything that I have known for the last 46 years seems to be wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, 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 I agree with that. <laughs> like, like, for example, since I've, I've moved to the UK, I'm not driving. Yeah. Yeah, it's it could be silly because I'm able to go in Mexico with my backpack on my own for six weeks without any trouble, and here I'm not driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here they, they <laughs> some. I remember one time that somebody said Asians can't drive. I said, "Excuse me." <laughs> you know? And but it's it, the other thing is is the it's a different type of driving because here everything is quite structured right whereas in asia you need eyes on the back of your head and we are alert a hundred percent of the time or we sometimes we just know how to weave into things and but, but yes adherence to rules is, is non-existent in asia because there are no rules you know or at least the asia that i come from um but it's interesting also to to just overcome so yes in i do love uh, you know the the many things about the uk culture and everything but yes being in transition is difficult isn't it both ways mm -hmm. even if they're transitioning to to live in my country for instance so yes grounding yourself loving yourself feeling good about yourself yeah and i know you have a second business you have a second business that 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 where it's all about waste uh, zero waste cosmetics tell us more about that how does that relate to taking care of yourself um so um how do i start the story so maybe by saying that first i study chemistry so i have a french degree in chemistry i work in the in a chemical industry and i was like oh my goodness my skin was awful when i was wo i wasn't working i have some uh, red uh, red spots uh, on, on my skin and i was like what is that and the doctor told me oh yes that's the, the risk with your job. Uh -huh. I don't want that. <laughs> you know, that was like the time was I was a party girl in club every weekend. I don't want to have, have spots. And when I look after, I, I say, yeah, that's, that's too dangerous. That's not what I want for my life. And, and also, I think it's linked by the fact that uh, I have some, um, I, I had a lot of uh, health issues when I was younger. And I find some answer uh, with organic 
um, with organic products. And so I start with that. And one in, once I was in Paris and I heard in, in the radio that uh, in the UK, women are using around 500 in chemical ingredients daily for yeah, cosmetics. I will count. For cosmetics. I'm going to go to my cabinet and I'm going to count how many hundreds. I and, <laughs> and, and, and I, I, at first I was, that's a big number, but I know it's true because just a perfume can, 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 can have 50, 50 different ingredients. So I get rid about, if I wasn't enough organic or whatever, I, I get rid of, of a lot. And then uh, I will say in France, we are more into organic than when I've traveled in, in England at first and then in Canada, I noticed that zero rest is more important than organic. But for me, they are going together. It's like take, taking care of our, of, of our environment, of the nature. It's really, really important. That going with being grounded. Like, I mean, I don't want to be grounded in a, in a dirty place. Uh, so I want to be aware of uh, what I'm, I'm buying. And, and uh, so last year, during my travel in the UK, I struggling to find the product that I used to buy. So at first, as a French, huh, I will say that's the, the, stero the, the stereotype of uh, French people, I was complaining. So then I say, okay, I'm, I'm going to stop complaining and I'm going to do it. So I, 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 uh, I've done a lot of research and I'm working with an with the Engli uh, English uh, woman who uh, to make the, those products and I'm designing the the brand and uh, that's yeah I, I love it I love it I think like I want to I want to show to women that beauty is not just about uh, putting makeup yes putting makeup it could be nice and if you like it go for it but beauty it's about bring up the light you have inside you and use and use uh, amazing cosmetics. Like, I mean, I'm 36. People think that I'm 25 when they met me. So I think because I'm I, I having the yeah, this organic and uh, uh, lifestyle, I would say a way of doing it, it's, it's working. So that's what I, I want to bring. Yeah, and definitely you're the perfect person to teach that because you've done it <laughs> yourself, right? So yeah, transition, taking care of yourself, both physically as well as mentally. And yeah. now you are dedicating your time to uh, host business women in, in Southampton. What are you aiming to achieve? Uh, so what I want to achieve is to, um, to, bring, to bring to women and to create like a team and I, I don't know, like a, how can I phrase that? Like, in Paris, I was part of a team, like we met each other, like I think twice a month or anyway. And it was about, okay, um, how are you? Uh, where are you in your business? How do you feel? What are you challenging? What are you struggling? How we can support you? And how you told me how I feel by being in transition and, and that team helped me a lot to go up, to push myself, to go out of my uh, comfort zone, to, to make my business be able to, to, to keep my, my company six, six years in France. So, I mean, I, mean I, I need that. And I feel like, yeah, business woman in Indonesia is an amazing uh, group and team and the support is so powerful. And I feel like as a woman, we have more challenging to be able to be a business owner. So while, when I start my journey to be an entrepreneur, I was like, mm, I'm not going in, in those kind of group. That's sexist. <laughs> and now I feel like, no, women, we, I think we need, we need different support. Yeah, interesting. And, and I do agree with you. Business Women's in Organization has been so supportive. And it's one of those things that there's no strings attached. You come, you network, membership is free. There's no obligations to do anything. Mm -hmm. And we just take care of each other. And I think it just all work, which is, which is great. Yeah. Southampton, uh, when are your meetings? Is it the first week, second week, or? Uh, uh, next week. It's next week. Next so week. it's the third, is the second week, isn't it? It's the second. Yeah. 
second week yeah, it's week. uh yeah excellent wednesday, wednesday next week wednesday and second wednesday of every month great great yeah so, you know, exactly. i know there's so much more you can share and i really want to thank you for being here and uh laurie's going to come to my bath meeting my business women in bath yeah. next tuesday so right before her so that's great and she'll get to talk more apparently she's got her coaching system or sorry not her coaching her guidance system for people in transition she doesn't want to be called a coach, which is fine. Um, it's like, you know, 12 weeks, it's got seven steps. It's all about loving yourself, uh, clarifying your vision and your values. And it sounds exciting. And I'm sure if you want to book a call with Lori, you can find her. Do you have a website that you want to say? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I have, I'm struggling all the time to say it. <laughs> <laughs> What's so your website? It's, say it. <laughs> So it's my website is easy. You uh, Laurie Popoff, and you Google it, it, and you're going to find me. That's easy okay, on, on Laurie, Facebook. You exactly Laurie Popoff, L A U R Y. That's how you spell Laurie. Okay, so yeah. um, that's great. That's great, and good luck with your business. Good luck with your uh, health uh, products as well. I think that's fantastic, um, and absolutely excited to visit you one day in Southampton or at least yeah Northern you're Northern welcome because I'd love I sure. love uh, uh, popping around as well to to other meetings Good. so thank you so much for joining Brave Conversations and for all of you who are wanting to get over your transitions uh, a little bit better uh, dealing with self-care self-love uh, taking care of yourself physically as well please feel free to contact uh, Lori for uh, some advice. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. Bye-bye so now. Thank you. Bye.